What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Flores Report. I'm your host, Danny Flores. Get rid of those days, guys. Today is going to be a hard video to make just because I feel like I've been warning people of this certain situation and as you guys see in the title we're talking about eileen cano kano whatever okay if you guys don't know who eileen is you guys probably remember i was always speaking on her because one time in specific she was in her car and her daughter reached out for a pew pew <laughs> She literally grabbed that. So since day one, I've been saying, yo, she's a big ass liar, bro. And honestly, I don't think her kids are safe there. This is just my opinion, okay? After watching this video. And well, yesterday, man, it was a whole ass mess on her man's Instagram and on her Instagram. There's an incident of DV, you know, on both sides. But the, the fact that they're doing this in front of their babies, bro, is just a whole nother thing like what the hell is wrong with them so this is her guy her ex guy whatever i don't know his name but he did post up this picture where he was bleeding from his nose saying yo she hit me blah 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 and then there's two videos he posted one video where eileen is legit talking so bad about her baby bro so let's watch that one and then we'll jump into the other one oh your room please me voy a mi tranquilo Te lo traigo en la tarde. Me lo voy a llevar tranquilo. Me lo voy a llevar tranquilo. Por favor, Aileen, vamos a hablar tranquilo. A ver, forma de niño asqueroso que lo voy a dejar allí llorando toda su puta vida. Yo no voy a estar allí matando al pobre niño. Aquí está grabado. Mira lo que está diciendo el nene. ¿Qué? Diez minutos grabando. Te grabé, mira. ¿Qué? Yo no me voy a matar por Basura. Niño. Basura eres tú. Mira. She's fucking trash. I'm sorry. She is fucking trash. Listen, I usually don't cuss a lot here, but bro, being a dad, being a parent, how the fuck do you say that about your kid? And let me translate for those that don't know Spanish. She said, she basically said, I don't care about that ugly ass kid on the floor. I'm going to leave him crying there his whole damn life. And then after that video, she came out with the live, right? She came out with the live saying, yo, I wasn't talking about my son on the floor. I was talking about his son. So apparently the boyfriend has a, a, a son with another baby mama, right? But no, she was a literally talking about the son on the floor because that's the only kid that was crying that we see and bro for a mom to say that it, it just really pisses me off imagine the woman that gave birth to you doesn't even want you that that is just fucking sad in every aspect bro and i i did <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, CPS is involved now, which is great because I always said this. I don't feel comfortable with those babies there, especially seeing this, guys. <laughs> yeah. And she also said, I'm not going to be here killing myself for this kid. Bro, as a dad, I'm giving everything. I'm giving my life up for my babies. It's just how it is. Okay. But anyways, um, there's a second video where he goes to the apartment and allegedly Eileen left the kids alone inside the apartment while she went to go get food she said yo i have a 17 year old here watching them and a 14 year old watching them so they're they're fine right they're fine but this is what the guy caught on camera i like no hagas un puto show aquí what you want to raise you joe see are you sure about that okay you're not recording inside my house si no la habla la policía ahorita tú tienes un restraining order tú tienes un restraining order Está bien, está bien. Tengo dos hermanas. O te meto preso. Tú le hablas a la policía, tú vas preso hoy. ¿Tú me crees? Vamos a ver. Te nombramos aquí. Solo me estoy preocupando por mi hijo. ¿Te molesta que me preocupe por mi hijo? Tengo una hermana ahí adentro, 17 años y una de 14 años. A mí no me importa. Tú quieres venir a mi casa a grabar, a molestarme. Solo deja mi hijo. Solo deja mi hijo. No, baby, I went to go get food. Let's wait for the cops to get here. I have a restraining order on you. You're bugging me. You're harassing me. You will go to jail. Thank you very fucking much. No, no vienes tranquilo. Mira, me orienté para hoy. Yo no tengo chavos para pero se paga poco a poco. Y ya sabes qué, ya lo tengo para pillar el nene en el caso. Si no es contigo, con la corte. Ok, pero ocupa. Que vine para eso. Ok, ¿qué pasó? 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 Ok, 
Ya cogí el video a verte que no estabas con el nene. ¿Y, qué? y Y grabé los nenes ahí corriendo y jodiendo. Está bien, ¿y sabes lo que voy a decir? ¿Sabes lo que yo hice, puto, hija de puta? Yeah, she's a piece of shit, mom. Both of them, bro. To be fighting in front of your kids like that, that is just all wrong. But anyways, uh, translation, he was going to see his kid. She said, yo, I went to go get food. And I, I honestly don't think anyone else was in there with him, like any adult, 17, 14 or whatever she said. I don't think so. I don't think that's a case because she didn't even open the door. And apparently she has a restraining order on him. So uh, this is just all messy, guys. I just want to say this, like, since the beginning, since day one, I knew she was trouble, bro. And it's it's just the fact that also back in the day, this guy messaged me to interview him, which I denied. I said, no, I don't want to do this. And good thing I didn't, bro. Good thing I didn't. Like, I'm happy I didn't go through that. But guys, I do want to get your opinions on this situation. Very, very serious situation down below. What do you guys think? I know there's more things coming out. I honestly don't follow them. I think the guy blocked me. And Eileen, she has her stuff up private, I think. But um, yeah, she was there. I guess they were both going on live or she was going on live saying they're part of whatever. But yeah, at this point, don't believe any of them. I just hope the babies are OK, literally. And I even hope Flyboy, if he sees this or whatever, he finds out about this, bro, go get your sons. I know you're a Debbie dad, too, but bro, you don't want them in that situation. OK, and I'm just saying I'm just calling him a Debbie dad because I feel like he's never around. But then I'm hearing stories saying, yo, he's never around because Eileen doesn't let him come around. But that's no excuse for a dad, bro. I'm a dad. I'm a fight for my kids. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Second clip, not her saying she better with flyboys. No comment. Not them fighting in front of the kids. ¿Y qué dijiste? ¿Vas a luchar por tu familia? Que yo debería allí, debería de pelear por esa familia, por tus hijos. Sí, lo dije, ese hombre nunca me ha tratado como tú me has tratado, nunca me ha tratado como tú me has tratado. Esto se jodió, papá, se volvió loca esta. Baby, eso se jodió como esta mujer tocó mi puerta. Well, I'm okay now, I'm, I'm calm. I just got a call from the detective right now that was working my case and um, Alex is in jail, he's in custody. Um, they told me he just called me right now and said that they pulled him over he was driving home i guess and uh so i was pulling up on alex right now well he's not pulling up on nobody because um alex is in custody they the detective just called me and told me that they had a bolo out on him from my case the one that i reported three weeks ago when all that happened and they obviously investigated it they did like the pictures all that stuff and um they they told me that he's not coming out. So, why are we asking for a galaxy still pull up on? <laughs> so, I wouldn't even know where Alex lives. I just, I'm not dealing with his shit. That's the thing, is, I'm not gonna deal with his shit that he keeps harassing me and stuff. And it's so crazy. This is why I'm telling you. God's on my side because he knows I'm the victim here and this was the last straw for me and I don't want him back because of what he did in front of my kids and like I said all the other times he never did it in front of my kids this was the first time and the last motherfucking time and um he just told me like oh um he called me right now and I was like who the hell is calling me I wasn't gonna answer it and then because it was like a block number and I was like who the hell is that but then I, I, I answered and I stayed quiet and they were like, oh, this is um, Detective This from Phoenix Police Department. He was like, I just wanted to let you know that you can go to sleep comfortable tonight. He was like, they had a bolo out on um, Alexander Vega. He was like, so we we caught him like driving home. Go we'll get all this shit done with the restraining order. Um, Alexander on there and so they could serve him inside there. They told me that that is harassment and stalking me like... I just wanted to update you guys. Um, I had so many people messaging me like, girl, like, are you okay? Like, I hope you're safe. Um, I'm safe. I'm okay. And I don't feel bad for him. I am going to every single fucking court. I am showing every evidence. Well, they have all the evidence because I was the one that reported it, showed them everything. They took the pictures of my face when it was fresh, my neck, everything. Um, and 
yeah so i guess he had a a bolo is a warrant right he said a bolo wow i don't know what the fuck that is <laughs> well don't send him no more galaxies because he ain't gonna pull up on nobody